Hello there, everybody. <laughs> There's our first card. Um, we're here to do the daily tarot reading for June 14th. I'm going to be pulling one card for each sign. We already had the first card fall out. That's going to be for Aries. And I think we've got it shuffled up really good now. Okay, so Aries, what you have shown up on the board is the Seven of Cups in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse is just telling me that you have been looking at different ways that you could improve your life or your way of living at the moment. And now you have decided which one is the most important to you and which way is what you're going to be focusing on. And you are making some plans today about taking those first steps towards reaching out for that thing that you're focusing on now as a way to improve your life. Taurus, you guys are up next. Taurus, you have the Seven of Pentacles. This just means payday as far as I'm concerned. So there's something that you have been investing in. You can be investing finances, sure. This could also be about investing emotions, energy, effort, time. And you invested in this thing expecting that at some point there would be some kind of payoff coming back to you from that. That's what's happening today. Today is payday, baby. All right, next let's look at Gemini. Gemini, fantastic card. You have the Empress showing up. This just tells me that you are manifesting those things that you want in your life right now. And the Empress manifests in that feminine energy where she lets the universe know what it is that she would like to have in her life. And then she sits back and lets the universe bring it to her. And so this is the type of manifestation we're seeing going on today. So you can have some things showing up in your manifestation that maybe you even kind of put out there that you wanted and then sort of forgot about. Here they are showing up, Gemini. Good for you. Next up, Cancer. So Cancer, you guys are showing up with the Six of Coins. Now this is telling me that somebody is making things even now. They're making things right. Somebody may be owing you some money or maybe you let them use your lawnmower or whatever. This is somebody uh, bringing things back to you, returning things to you, paying you back for kindnesses done, that type of thing. So somebody is paying you back today, Cancers. All right, next let's move on to Leo. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Okay, so Leos, you guys have a good card too. Look at this. This is a good day for so many people. I love it. Wheel of Fortune just means that you are high energy right now and you're getting things accomplished and you're feeling good about the day and what you've got going on. Really love to see that. Things are going smoothly for you, Leo. Next up, let's look at Virgo. So Virgo, you have the High Priestess showing up in reverse. High Priestess in reverse. <laughs> I feel like you're really feeling confused about something. Um, the High Priestess in reverse is not just a little confused because the High Priestess typically knows things. You know, she's clued in by her intuition. When she's in reverse, that means that she's really having a hard time telling which way's up and which way's down. So this is massive confusion that's happening here. And I feel like you may be um, talking to people a little bit more than what you usually do, or for some of you, a lot more than what you usually do, in just trying to find that information that you're looking for because you want to have some clarity in whatever this situation is, Virgo. All right, next up we're looking at Libra. Libras, you guys have the Ten of Cups showing up in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse just means that there's something that makes you happy and you want to take that thing, that happiness making situation or thing to the next level. If you have a hobby, this could be, you know, leveling up that hobby. If you have, you know, if this is a work project that's going really well, this could be leveling it up. If this is a relationship, this could be leveling it up. So you're looking to level up something that's making you very happy. The problem is that you're not quite able to level up in the way that you want to just yet. Okay, so that's for Libra. Up next, we have Scorpio. Scorpios, we're showing up with the star sign, or excuse me, the star card in reverse. 
which tells me that we may be having trouble figuring out what it is we're trying to accomplish during the day. We could have scattered energy and we could be doing a little of this and a little of that and a little of the other, but not with as much focus as we might like to have. All right. Looking next at Sagittarius, you have the Nine of Wands showing up in reverse. This just means that there's going to be something that happens that is a surprise. It's going to feel like it comes out of the blue or out of left field for you, Sagittarius. Next thing that we're looking at is Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorn, we have the Five of Swords showing up here. This just tells me that there's some kind of dispute or argument that you are actually involved in on this date. Okay. Next up we are going to look at Aquarius. So Aquarius, what you have is the Hierophant in reverse. For some of you this talks about the dissolving of a marriage. For some of you this is an annulment more than it's a divorce. Uh, but this isn't going to have to do with marriage for everybody. Uh, what it will have to do with is basically the, the um, coming out of or walking away from some type of contract or some type of agreement, whether it be written or verbal. Okay, so that's Aquarius. Next up we have Pisces and Pisces also nine of cups in reverse. And so we had what Libra had the ten of cups in reverse, Pisces nine of cups in reverse. This is talking about something that is making you feel very dissatisfied and empty, like there has to be more. And so I think that after having this experience, I think you're going to be looking for that more, whatever that more might happen to be for you. Okay. Thank you guys very much for being here today. I do appreciate all the likes, all the shares, all the comments. And um, of course, I appreciate all of you who are booking private readings and private Reiki sessions and Reiki candles with me. Thank you very much. All of you guys' support at every single level is what makes me able to do what I love to do for my living. So if I don't see you here for a private between now and then, I will see you guys back on the next video. Peace out.